Hi friends, it's Amy and I'm your sewing teacher. I'm here this week to share with you what came in the mail for me. This is mail call for me. It's really actually an exciting time for me when I make lots of orders and every day it seems as though a new package comes. So I saved those packages for today and I have opened them and I'm gonna share with you what I got in the mail. So I've been getting ready for some bag making. I'm super excited. There are some new purses, wallets, and backpack patterns that I'm very excited to try. So stay with me while we go through all of my mail this week and see what great packages I got. Very excited to share this with you. If this is the kind of content that you like and you like watching this type of video, give this a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, it's right down there below. So most of what we're gonna talk about today are for bag making, but I think that it's really great to see the different types of things that you can get in order to make um, purses, bags, backpacks, and wallets from. So I already have a stash of leather, so I didn't even look for leather this time because I went to the leather store right before lockdown and I got some really great scraps. I get my scraps for $4 and I get sheets of scraps for $8. So I didn't need any leather. But what I do need is a leather substitute. I have many customers who really are thoughtful when it comes to what materials they purchase. And so they really like it when I give them vegan options. A lot of the vegan options out there are vinyl, faux leather, cork, and of course fabric. I always try to locally source as much as I can, although when it comes to economics, sometimes that's not always the best. But I'll tell you, in Canada, we do not have all of the options that you have in the United States. When it comes to bag making supplies, there is far more choice in the United States as there is in Canada. I'm sure that those of you in Australia might also find it difficult to get supplies and the options might be fewer for you as well. For those of you in the rest of the world, I'm not sure what it's like for you to get supplies for bag making, but you could put it down below in the comments and let me know, are these things that you can readily get where you're from or are these things that you have to have shipped worldwide? On Facebook, we have these really fantastic groups that are called destashing groups. For those of you who have joined me who've been sewing for a long time, or even some of you that are just getting started, you might realize that this is not just a hobby of sewing. This is a hobby of collecting things. We collect fabric and we collect hardware and we collect notions and we collect anything that might come of use. So really, when you have too much stuff, you might go to one of these de-stash groups and you might sell some of your stuff to some of the other people online. So I belong to quite a few de-stashes. Uh, many of them are specific to a certain type of item. And this week I got some of my very first de-stashes for bag hardware. So it's very exciting and I'm so glad to share that with you today. But the first thing I want to share with you came off of a de-stash group. And so the very first thing that I want to show you is I want to show you the fabric. And this fabric is called a laminated cotton. It is essentially a woven cotton that has been laminated with a poly coating. And that poly laminate coating is what gives it some stiffness. So you don't necessarily have to interface this when using it for bag making. So you actually skip a step, so it's very good. And this is what I found. The next thing I wanna share with you came from overseas. Now, when you buy vinyl, you can get vinyl in small sheets like this, or you can get it in a bigger sheet like this, or you can get it in a roll like this. Now, the ones that come from overseas are the smaller or the mid size. I just wanted to see the quality of the print, and these would make great wallets for children so I think that that's probably what I'm going to use them for but let me show you what I found. The 
The next thing that I found was a heavy duty vinyl. This vinyl came from SAS Custom Fabrics in Canada and you choose what print you like and then you tell them what type of fabric you want it printed on. And so this was printed on vinyl for me at my request. And it came, it came in and it's very thick vinyl. So you have to be careful with the thick vinyls as to um, how small the item is that you are making because you have to turn the bag right side out or berth the bag, if you will. And you wanna make sure that you can get it right side out through that little hole without there being a problem. But let me show you this beautiful vinyl that I got. I can't wait to make this into a backpack for my daughter who is studying astronomy. Now I talk about the fact that I'm so excited for this new uh, upcoming couple months of my sewing. I have almost finished all of my custom jobs and I haven't been taking any new ones because I really am excited to start to focus a little bit on wallets, purses, bags, and backpacks. So I'm so excited to do this new step of sewing and um, I had to kind of gather up all of the things that I need to get started. And one of the patterns is a wallet where you sew it together so that the edges are exposed. So you use a faux vinyl, I mean a faux leather, a vinyl or a leather, and then you paint the edges and the, the paint rounds out the edge. It finishes it really nicely, makes it very professional. So I bought my very first um, acrylic leather edge paint kit. So let me show you what comes in that. The next thing I'm going to share with you, it came packed up like this and it is a also faux leather, but I, I've been looking for an embossed leather, one that has a feeling and a texture and a touch to it, not just a print. And I found these on Amazon. They are absolutely lovely. They feel real. Let me show you exactly what came in this package. So I was talking about those Facebook groups where people distash things that they have collected and they no longer need, or maybe they, you know, collected a few too many things. And I have been just starting to use a zipper by the yard and buying the zipper pulls by themselves. And what I didn't know prior to about a year ago is I didn't know that the zipper pulls could be made custom and that you could match your zipper pull to the fabric design. So what I've come across and what I've decided to do is I decided to buy a few of these distached items because then they were less money and that they would match the fabric that I'm making the purse out of. And so very excited to show you these. Now the next thing that arrived this week actually just came this morning. And this I have been waiting for for a long time. This is called a hump jumper. It looks like this. It's got a skinny side and a thick side. And when you are sewing something that goes from thick to thin, you use this as a way to not have a hump and then skip stitches. I've seen people use these and I hadn't purchased one. I kind of used um, some cardboard before. I kind of make makeshift my own. This one is very thick and I can't even bend it, but it did come with two. So I don't have to worry about breaking one and being left without another. 
if I by chance become addicted to using this, but I know that when it comes to bag making, wallet making, I do know that having a thick bulky seam happens quite a bit and you go from thick to thin quite often and being able to slide this in to, to right to abut the thickness can allow you to ease yourself off that bump with your foot and not have skip stitches. So I'm very, I'm looking forward to that very much. Now, this was the most exciting package this week. About two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, I purchased from the Custom Fabric Slayer. Now they are Canadian based. They are very, um, they have so much choice. I can't even tell you how much choice there is. There were hundreds of prints I could choose from and choose the print that you like the most. And then you choose the type of fabric that you want it printed on. And of course, I was searching for vinyl, so I chose the vinyl. Now this vinyl is just like leather. Like it is soft and it is supple and it feels like, like leather. Like it feels, I can't even tell you how wonderful it feels. It's good. I'm so excited to, to be able to create with these. And let me show you these wonderful designs. And this comes from the Custom Fabric Slayer. And that's here in Canada. For those of you who are in the United States, I will down below in the description box give you a list of some of the American companies that I have purchased from that have the same quality or better quality than some of the items that I have here today. Um, there are many reputable companies in North America. I don't know as much for overseas, but ask around on your Facebook groups find other sewists that are ordering and find out where they're ordering from. I want to thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed opening my mail with me. It's been a lot of fun. I'm so glad that I can share my excitement and the excitement to make and create with these items. And I want to thank you very much for joining me today. You know, this is a part of a sewing journey. Sometimes it's my students, sometimes it's my children, sometimes it's mine, but it's definitely yours. And thanks for joining me this week and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next week.